Okay, so now let us see how to draw the probability density function of exponential random variable. So the exponential random variable is x and here the probability density function is given by fx is equal to lambda e raised to minus lambda x. So let us assume that this is nothing but y is equal to fx is equal to lambda e raised to minus lambda x. So for this calculation of this y, we have used this function that is fx is equal to lambda e raised to minus lambda x. Let us assume some values of x. So for example, let us say x is 0, values of x are 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and 20 as shown over here and y is nothing but the function lambda e raised to minus lambda x. Now let us consider this particular value, this particular say. So lambda, let us assume the value of lambda as 2. So lambda is 2, e raised to minus 2 into x. So lambda is 2 over here multiplied by exponential that is e raised to minus 2 multiplied by a5 where a5 is nothing but what this a5 cell is the value of x is 0 over here so 2 into e raised to minus 2 into 0 so that value is 2 similarly here also it is lambda e raised to minus lambda x where lambda is 2 and x is nothing but the value is 2 but that is corresponding to cell a6 similarly we have substituted the values for all these particular cells and now we have to draw the probability density function for this particular values of x and y first we will select these values of x and y as it is go to the insert go to the scatter diagram scatter with smooth lines and you will get the required curve like this now we can select the styles also so you can select the various styles from this now suppose we want to change this value of lambda instead of 2 suppose we want this value to be 0.5 then in all these formulas, in place of lambda, it will be 0 0.5. So in place of lambda, this is 0 0.5 that we are having. And now the same formula, we will have to copy at all these places. So we will copy this formula at all these cells like this. So that we will get this curve in this particular fashion. Now suppose, so you can see this, lambda e raised to minus lambda x will be this particular value. Now suppose we have to find out the value at lambda is equal to 0 0.5. Then in place of lambda, we will substitute 0 0.1. Here also we will substitute it as 0 0.1 and then now we will copy this formula at all these cells like this and we will get the distribution curve will be in this form. So in this way we can plot the probability density function of exponential random variable.